As after a year of loss and sacrifice, a glimmer of hope on the horizon as both LA and Orange counties have officially moved to the orange tier. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. And thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Vaughn. That designation paves the way for looser restrictions. Yes, it is a hard fought battle in the next step to economic recovery. Take a look at the state map showing each county and their tier, and you can see Orange and LA counties are surrounded by a sea of red. CBS 2 Orange County reporter Michelle Gili with more now on that county's move tomorrow. We can't wait. The Gaines family from Inglewood is celebrating Orange County's move to the orange tier, which means when Disneyland reopens next month, even more people can enjoy it. Yeah, just seeing the amount of uh, businesses that are actually boarded up was really shocking because we've, like my wife said, we've been down here plenty of times and it's always bustling. So just to see the effect that the coronavirus is taking financially on businesses is, is, is uh, astounding to see. The pandemic shut down tourism in Anaheim, but there are now signs of life. With this afternoon's less restrictive orange tier announcement, businesses are expected to unlock their doors. The smell of bread is back at Rick Kearney's subway. He's been closed seven of the last 12 months. It's a beginning. We're going to step forward with baby steps. We're just like so happy. The Hilton will be reopening soon. It is one of nearly 40 hotels in the Anaheim Resort area that have been closed during the pandemic. But now that tourists will begin returning, they will need a place to stay. Many places can double indoor capacity in the orange tier. Movie theaters, restaurants and churches can increase to 50%. Bars can open outdoors without serving food, and gyms can increase to 25% capacity. Stores will no longer have capacity restrictions. For so many cities, it's the beginning of economic recovery. This is an incredible step forward. Folks have not been able to come to our city to enjoy the theme parks, for a convention, for to enjoy baseball for more than a year now. The Gaines are hoping they will be one of the lucky Californians eligible for a reservation when Disneyland opens its gates April 30th. In Anaheim, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.